So now we are going to see the instruction that is SUI 8 bit data. For this instruction, the first portion is upward. So upward is SUI. The remaining part of the instruction is operand, which is 8 bit data. If in the instruction you can see 8 bit value, it means that instruction is of 2 byte. 2 byte means when this instruction is stored in the memory, it will occupy two consecutive memory locations. Let's see the meaning of the instruction. That is SUI 8 bit data. SUI 8 bit data, it means subtract immediate 8 bit data from the accumulator. Subtract immediate 8 bit data from the accumulator and answer will be stored in the accumulator. Let's see one example. Suppose the example is SUI 32H. Now if you pay attention, before the execution, the content of accumulator is 33H in hexadecimal. If you convert this number into binary, you will get the number like this. Now the 32H is also represented in the binary. Now what is the meaning of the instruction SUI 32H? It means subtract immediate 32H from the accumulator and answer will be stored in the accumulator. Now to perform arithmetic subtraction, the microprocessor will use two's complement method. So to subtract 32H from the accumulator, the microprocessor will first convert this 32H in 2's complement. So the 32H is represented in binary. Let's convert this number into 2's complement. So what is 2's complement? It is 1's complement plus 1. So let's convert this number into 1's complement. So you will get 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And 2's complement means 1's complement plus 1. So let's add 1 to this number. You will get 1 and 0. So this is the 2's complement representation of 32H. After that, the microprocessor will add this two number, the accumulator and 2's complement of 32H. So let's add, you will get 1, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1. After performing the subtraction, the microprocessor will complement the carry. So after the subtraction, we are getting the carry 1 and microprocessor will complement that carry so it will be converted to 0. And if you convert this number into hexadecimal, you will get 0, 1, H. So after the execution, what will be the content of accumulator? It is 0, 1, H. So in the subtract instruction, you have to pay attention in the carry. After the subtract instruction is executed, if the content of carry is 0, it means the answer is positive and it's in original form. If after performing the subtract instruction and if the content of carry is 1, it means the answer is negative and it is in 2's complement form. So you have to note it down, if after performing the subtract instruction, if the content of carry flag is 0, it means answer is positive and it is in original form. If after performing the subtract instruction, if the content of carry flag is 1, it means answer is negative and it is in 2's complement form. Okay. Now let's see the machine cycle. This instruction is of 2 byte. So when this instruction is stored in the memory, it will occupy 2 memory locations. So in the first location, the upcode will be stored. In the next location, the data will be stored. After the instruction is stored, the microprocessor will start its task that is to fetch, decode and execute. To fetch, it will use the machine cycle upcode fetch. Now when microprocessor will perform the upcode fetch, this upcode will be transferred. But this whole instruction is not transferred yet. To transfer this whole instruction, the microprocessor has to perform one more machine cycle that is memory read. So when microprocessor performs upper fetch plus memory read, this whole instruction will be transferred to the microprocessor. So instruction is fetch, then processor will decode and execute. During the execution, the processor is performing the subtraction and answer is stored in the accumulator. So no interaction with the memory is done during the execution. It means only two machine cycles are needed, that is 
अफकोर्ट फैक्स प्लस मेमोरी थ्री